Thanks for joining us, Harley. A um, couple of days now since the Derby defeat. What's the atmosphere been like out on the training pitch amongst the lads? Um, we've obviously been really down. Um, down as in we knew we didn't perform. Um, we knew individual errors cost us again. And um, just disappointed, really. It's another home performance that we've not been good enough and, and obviously not got no points and conceded a lot of goals but um, we're all very determined to turn it around this weekend and um, change this home form and, and get back to get to what we are away from home really at home. Accusations I suppose from the outside looking in that sometimes uh, footballers don't care enough but here at Blues the squad is very much together that's not the case and everyone working together to do what we can to, to turn the form around at the moment as well. Yeah of course that's, that's why it's so frustrating because as a collective we're training so hard we're working so hard day to day um, we go and put that performance in on Boxing Day uh, you travel Christmas Day you make all the sacrifices you get the draw off of a few results as well bad results and, and you think right this is this is going to be it you get again you come in the next day you do your stuff right you do your stuff right again and then you turn up to the game and, and that happens individual errors and, and stuff like that that's collectively personally the same thing I prepare the same way for every game and then feel like I've been playing well when you go into that game and you cost your team good two goals and it's just it's frustrating it's not good enough but at the same time it's, it's such a good thing that this league there is such a game so quickly afterwards that you that you can put it right and consistency I suppose the key word you alluded to it there shelving eight goals at home but then going away just a couple of weeks before to Bristol to Reading who are promotion chasing and, and beating them on their home ground you must take positives from that and then question why at times at home things have been so inconsistent. Yeah, that's the thing. We're a better team this year. Um, there's definite improvements. We feel it. Um, we know it. It's just the home form that's, that's letting us down. And um, as you said, we go and beat Bristol City, we beat Reading, we beat Preston away. Um, we need to just replicate them away performances at home. Um, I think we change our mindset a little bit when we come home. Um, that we're the home team, we need to take it to teams and I don't think we're that sort of team so I think we've realised that now and um, we need to start getting results and ultimately we've just got to stop individual errors. Um, the, the, the Middlesbrough game was four goals, it was never a 4-1 game but there was four individual errors. This game, four individual errors, two for myself, Evers and then corner, however you want to make it, they're individual errors and um, we need to cut them out. and. It's easier said than done, especially when you're in a negative mindset at home because of the results, because of how many um, games we've had and points that we haven't picked up. But it has to turn around and we're working hard enough. The manager's putting enough work into us that we will turn it around. Do you miss the fans at home? Is that something that's been picked up upon? We haven't played much in front of fans at all this season, but there is a feeling amongst supporters that a pack St Andrews or, or even 2,000 supporters would, 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 would be able to pull the team through at times? Of course, I mean, they're always a 12th man when you're there. Um, and I think they'd really enjoy the away games as well this year, so it is a shame that there can't be any supporters in the, in, in the stadiums. But as soon as they get back into the stadium, especially at home, we've got to start producing some performances that makes them, makes them want to be there. Um, and we will get there because, as I said, the managers and the coaching staff are... Uh, are really putting a lot of work into us and everyone's really enjoying it. We've got real togetherness in the squad. Um, we just know we need to be better individually in certain moments in the game and collectively all the time. And just a word about your form as well, which has been good this season. You've, you've missed one game, I think, due to the, the suspension from the Reading penalty. But, but your form on the whole has, has been much improved and very, very consistent personally, despite some of the struggles we've seen as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's why I'm so annoyed with Tuesday's game really because I feel previous to that I haven't really made any mistakes I've been I've been consistent I've scored a couple of goals um, I feel re in a really good place especially under the manager and, and with people and, and with the squad around me um, which is why it's so frustrating that you go to a game like that and then all of a sudden you make two mistakes out of nowhere and you can't put your finger on why is it Lack of concentration. Well, no, I don't think so. I think I'm always switched. I've always been switched on this year. It's just you can't ever put your finger on it as a footballer. But all I know is that I've got a game Saturday, and if selected, I won't make them mistakes again.
Blackburn next on Saturday. A good chance to, to start 2021 off with three points and I suppose put 2020 to bed on the pitch and particularly off the pitch at a tough year for everyone. Yeah, it's been it's been a terrible year for everybody outside of football. Um, with the with the coronavirus and stuff like that, it's um, it's been really tough, and you can only imagine what how mentally it's affected people. Um, but on the pitch, we've um, we've definitely showed improvements under the new manager. Um, it's a lot more enjoyable. It's a much better working environment. Um, you can see it's the cleverness in the squad, whether they're playing, whether they're not playing. Everybody wants their mate to do well, and everyone wants the teams to su to succeed. And um, that's what we're trying to do. Um, it will be slow. We don't. You don't finish safe on the last day and then jump to the playoffs. That's not the way it works. Um, but as long as we can show slight improvement this year, um, then hopefully next season we'll we'll be a good team.